Karen and I are heading down the canyon today. We're going to go down and look at the old shoe fly bridge. It's called shoe fly. I'm not sure where that name came from, but uh, we're uh, we've been down there quite a few times. Um, of course, it was damaged in the Dixie fire. Um, the structure is still intact. It's all st steel structure. So the steel structure is still there. All the wooden decks burned off and all the wooden parts are burned off. But at any rate, we're going to go down there and check that out today. And we'll see what it, what it looks like today. It's a nice day, beautiful day. This is uh, the last day we're, we've got until uh, a weather change. So the weather's going to turn off colder and um, at least for a few days and then warm back up again. So we're in that time of year where the weather changes pretty fast. something unusual you don't see out here on the dirt road very often looks like somebody decided to leave their boat out here and I think they could track trace that back to whoever it belonged to Kind of rough road getting down in here. And it kind of goes up this way. There's a, there's another road that goes that used to go across the bridge. You can kind of see the bridge through the trees. And um, that's where that's the old road up there that used to go across. But you and you can walk down it now, but there's some trees down across that we couldn't drive down there. So that's the old shoe fly bridge or what's left of it. It was uh, it had it used to have a wood deck that went across. We've got some pictures of it I'll put up here. And uh, of course uh, it was back in the old days before the Dixie fire destroyed everything. Um, the steel structure uh, is the only reason this thing survived. This thing was built back in the 1800s, 1890s I believe. And it was part of the uh, the old wagon road that came from Indian Valley over to Quincy. There was a wagon road. There's uh, vestiges of it all along the canyon as you drive down the canyon. There's vestiges of the old road that um, are pretty cool where they did a lot of rock stacking. And um, but this is one of the uh, engineering feats of the uh, of the day, I think, to build this bridge. And it really is a shame that it burned because it was really in good shape. Almost, I walked halfway across it when it was still intact. And you had to be real careful because the, ro the boards were rotten, but you, you could still find solid enough boards to be able to cross it. Uh, the steel structure is probably strong enough. If somebody wanted to put some boards across there, you might be able to actually still get across it because uh, the basic structure is probably fairly sound because it didn't get a lot of heat. The, the deck that was on it that burned was where all the heat was generated because the rest of it was all steel and cable and stuff. The canyon's real pretty here. This is Indian Creek. Speaking of pretty, Well, here we sit having a little lunch. This used to be a little prettier than it is now, but it's still pretty. 
This rock behind me, it's got a lot of quartz veins running through it. And then there's a travertine mine on the other side there. We're going to go there next. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a wooden deck on this one. Uh, we first found it. I'm pretty sure I have some pictures of it looking down it. And we actually walked about halfway out on it at that point. There's lots of cables and stuff hanging down right now. And when I flew my drone under it, I didn't see all those. It's a good thing I didn't hit one. This is the old wagon road going back down this way. This part of the road's in really good shape considering that uh, dates back to the 1800s. Of course, it's uh, it's been used quite a bit since then. It was a forest service system road at one point. Sitting here on top of Dog Rock. There's Dog Rock right down there. Car's going by honking at me. On the highway right there. is uh, deposited by water. The water seeps out of the ground as you can see up here and it's collected somewhat down here but it's highly mineralized and it leaves these deposits. Uh, travertine deposits. It's a, I think it's a calcium carbonate. I believe I'm not sure. Somebody that knows something about rocks might know what it is but at any rate it's a uh, it's an interesting deposit here, and this, this whole area is deposited by the water, the mineral-rich water that comes out of the ground and leaves these travertine deposits. There used to be a little pond right here, and it's out there now. It's still seeping out over here, though. It has an interesting smell to it. And it's, uh, we've been out here in the winter time and it's actually not warm, but it's not cold. It's kind of a lukewarm, tepid water coming out of there. Kind of looks rusty here where these are coming out. There's iron deposits there or something, I don't know. Did you talk about the fire? That old wagon road goes right along here. Some rock work over here where they've stacked up rocks. Goes right along here. And then there's some more rock work right up here where they've stacked that up to widen the road out. That's part of the old wagon road. So that's the, uh, that's the shoe fly bridge, um, dog rock and uh, wagon, the old wagon road that used to go from uh, Indian Valley to Quincy. And you used to go down there and, and go across the Shoe Fly Bridge and head into Quincy. So anyway, that's uh, some of the little 
um, local history for around here. The, uh, the Dog Rock area has some um, significance beyond the white man coming. Uh, the Indians claim there is uh, some um, significance to that place for them too. So anyway, it was a fun day and uh, thanks for watching.